Mets were unbeaten in their last four. An 89th minute Nolan Roux strike salvaged a point against Dijon, but Frederick Hans's men were still eight points from safety. They came up against the saint Etienne side, who had put an end to a 10-game winless streak after beating Toulouse 2-0 at Geoffroy Guichard. Robert Berich was brought back to score goals for Lever, which he did on his return. But the Slovenian started this game on the bench. Mets looked dangerous from the start as the teams raced through and they were understandably awarded a penalty when Jesse Moulin brought down Nolan Roux. Up stepped Emmanuel Rivière who converted the penalty and the home side were up 1-0 after just 13 minutes. 1-0 quickly became 2-0 when Roux played in Mathieu Tosevi who struck past Moulin. Met playing phenomenal football. Fast movement, precise passing, and saint Etienne were two goals down in the blink of an eye. The home side kept coming forwards, and this time Moulin made two good saves, first from Roux, and then from Rivière. Levert should have equalised right before the break when Robert Berich forced Kawashima into a good save. And then Hamuma should have scored when he was clean through. But Kawashima gambled and got the gamble right. It's a phenomenal save. At the break, the home side were up two goals to nothing with a deserved lead. Mets were relentless after a brilliant team move. It was Nolan Roux who headed in their third goal. His seventh goal of the season. Five of them have been headers, an aerial expert. And he buried that one. A home side rewarded for their endeavours and attacking spirit throughout the match. Things were made even worse for Sata Chen when Hanani received a second booking and was dismissed. Their eighth red card of the season. Metz's hope of survival continue as their unbeaten run goes from strength to strength. It's a disappointing loss for Santa Chen, who had been given hope after their win last week, but have now been brutally stopped in their tracks once more.